Hey everyone, so first of all I apologise like I look like a tramp um, Today is one of those days where I just really can't be bothered doing anything Except making this video because I have been planning on making this video for about 6 months plus I first found out that Candy Calves was being made in about August or September of last year and when I found out that Joe Joyner was in it I was like yes, brilliant um, My friend Natasha and I adore Joe completely, you guys know I love Joe um, and so we've been sort of counting down for this and we didn't actually have an official date for it until about maybe three weeks ago we knew it was kind of early 2011 but we didn't know it was going to be March we actually thought it was February to begin with and then last night, last night's date being the 5th of April 2011 the first of the three part um, comedy, comedy series began and I was so so excited, it was on for an hour, it was on from 9 till 10 the same next week and I was like Sometimes if comedies can drag out a bit too long, because this is only going to be like three hours in total, I was like, I have high hopes for this. It, it's by Splash Media, which I'd not actually heard of before. I will say that right now. To my knowledge, I've not seen anything they've done. That could be that could be incorrect, but as far as I know. So this really was a brand new thing for me. You know, apart from the cast, I didn't know anything about it. Um, the cast, first of all, is all fantastic, but the sort of three that stand out, Jodie Prenger, um, Claire Sweeney and of course Joe Joyner and for those of you who didn't see it or have not read anything about it it's basically about a, a taxi firm, a cab firm called Candy Cabs and I won't spoil how it got set up, I'll let you watch that and find out but basically they set up this firm and it's for women only the drivers are women, it's run by women and it's for women customers, it's a membership firm and all of the taxis, all of the cabs are bright pink, like brighter than the pink of this wall. It is so gorgeous. We don't get to see much of them on the inside, but we find out that they have like mirrors and straighteners and loads of really girly gadgets on the inside as well. So they look absolutely fantastic. And the main thing of it is them trying to set up this firm and get it running and get it set up and getting more members and making it a big success. But of course, we see along the way they have hurdles. They have financial hurdles, they have commitment hurdles. They have their own personal problems, the characters have their own problems at home, like out with the company, which you know they have to deal with and can put a sort of halt to their commitment to the firm. So it's really quite exciting and there is a lot of humour in it. Joe's character, Jackie, I find to be very much the central character. She's the most, you know, she knows what she's doing, she's the most controlling, she's the bit of the boss. And she's also, I see, we look at her life more personally more than any of the other characters, apart from maybe one. So for me, the fact that my favourite, one of my favourite actresses in the entire world and the best actress in like EastEnders and Doctor Who, apart from Billy, is the central character of Candy Cabs. For me, that is fantastic. Now, I'm not saying I wouldn't like it if Joe wasn't in it or wasn't, you know, very much the main focus, because I think it's still a really interesting idea. Never would I think to sit down and write a script that focuses on just a, a dozen pink taxis. It's kind of a weird concept but it works and it is funny. I was watching it with my mother, a little fact, I was watching it with my mother and she goes she looks like that person from that thing. I was like come again? She goes you know she did that Andrew Lloyd Webber thing, she sang and I goes Jodie Prenger. She goes yeah and I goes mother it is her. So that was just a little random fact. My mother's got a habit of saying somebody looks like somebody when it actually is them. Um, so I was watching it with my mother and at the end she goes, well that was a waste of time. Um, first of all it's not really the sort of thing my mother would watch. Um, but I did, I, I was like mother we're watching this, I don't care what happens, I get to control the TV for an hour tonight. And she, she sort of sniggered every now and then at little bits. Um, I'll admit I wasn't like hysterically laughing, you know like rolling on the floor, killing myself, side splitting laughter. But the, the, it was funny, there was a few things that Joe said, well, Jackie said especially, um, which I thought were really funny. And it is, as I said, you're not going to go there, you don't, you know, you don't need a tissue, your eyes aren't going to be streaming with laughter, depending on your sense of humour. It's very much sort of surprise humour, especially if you go on from watching, say, Tanya in EastEnders, who's quite a squeaky clean character, burying her ex-husband aside to this Joe Joyner, this Jackie who wears exceedingly low cut tops and smokes and swears um, the language isn't heavily strong um, but it's not like, it's not for kids but yeah it is absolutely fantastic, as I said three parts I believe so it's on next week and the week after 
do watch it. Even if it doesn't sound like something you'd like, give it a go. Even if you just watch the first half an hour, you know, it, it is good and it is quite funny. It's not, as I said, it's not something which is going to be the most hysterical thing on earth. But it's, it's, it's cheerful and even though some of these characters have quite heavy heart hitting problems, you do find yourself smiling more more throughout it than you do a lot of others. There's a particularly funny scene where it was so obvious what was going to happen. Um, I won't spoil it, but all I'll say is that it involves a packet of T Jackie's fags. You will know exactly which ones I mean when when you watch it, if you saw it. Um, yeah, but please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts on this. Also let me know if you would like me to do a sort of concluding video at the end of the series to say whether I thought the, the whole thing was worth it or not. Um, if only one or two of you want me to do that, then just message me and I'll give you my response then. But if a lot of you would like me to share my thoughts on the overall thing once it's finished, I will happily do that for you. Um, and also, I'm interested to know why you watched it. What was it that made you attracted to Candy Caps? Was it the plot? Was it the production company? Was it the cast? Um, maybe some of the crew that worked on it? Or was it the idea that it was Pink Caps? Because in 100% honesty, if it wasn't for Joe Joyner, I probably wouldn't have watched it. But now I'm pleased that I am. I have this habit of not watching TV shows because I think they'd be rubbish. When I watch it, they're great. So if it wasn't for Joe, I wouldn't have watched it. But thank goodness Joe's in it because it is really good. So yeah, please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts and why you watched it. But that is it for just now, so I will see you next time. Bye!